Hello, my name is Oliver. Welcome to Adventures in Automata. Join me in the workshop where I show you my process into making these mechanical marvels. Right, okay, I'm ready to start making the boxes for the Magician Automata. I've got this lovely bit of Douglas fur here I'll be using. But first of all, I do need to change the planar blades. What I hadn't realized is the planar thicknesser doesn't like planing paint and it almost instantly dulled the uh, planar blades. So I need to change those over now and then we'll start milling down this Douglas fir. Okay, I've got new blades in the planar thicknesser. I've also calibrated it so it's running really, really well. So I'm about to start milling this Douglas fir. Before I do that, I just want to check these holes first, that there is no nails. Um, the last thing I want to do is damage the blades. Also, this area here, it looks abrasive. So I think I'm gonna cut that off. I'm also on the table saw going to cut this edge off because it's got paint and it's got other stuff in it as well. I just don't want that going through the planer. Right, okay, I'm getting close to my desired thickness. Um, I am now at about 12.3. Um, I need to go down to 12 millimeters. I like to be really accurate. Um, I do like accuracy. So I should just point out that, yes, there is some holes in this timber, but obviously I'm gonna cut those out. I am hoping, I, I've cut two of these pieces, I am hoping I'll get four boxes out of my two lengths. Um, I am taking a risk because um, I'm just kind of guessed. Okay, so I've graded this timber and picked the best bits because there are a few um, knocks and dents in this particular one. So I've taken the best bits out of that. Okay, this timber was um, the better of the two, so I'm going to use this for the tops and the sides of the altometer. Okay, I'm ready now to start cutting everything out on the CNC machine. Everything is programmed in and I'm ready to go. Um, I've cut the holes out in the bottom piece using a drill piece. Um, now I'm going to swap over and use this 3.2 router bit. Um, this could actually do the drilling, but I find that these drill bits are a lot more accurate than the router piece. Um, and I modify these drill bits. Um, what I do is I cut them down and resharpen them. I find when they don't have such a long shaft on them, they're a lot more accurate. enough today thanks for watching see you soon these videos are in their infancy if you are enjoying them please like share and subscribe and make some comment below let's get a conversation going